I am definitely not a morning person. So for me, one of the very few downsides about being in Thailand is that sometimes I have to get up at 2, 3, or 4 in the morning to participate in conference calls back in the U.S. But after those calls, instead of going back to sleep, I sometimes hop on a motorbike and head across Bangkok to Chinatown just to see what life is like there in the pre-dawn hours. So it is before dawn. I had to get up early for a meeting this morning back in the U.S. And I decided rather than to go back to sleep and wake up at a normal hour, I would come down and see Chinatown here in Bangkok. Chinatown is during the day and night, perhaps the most frenetic, chaotic place you'll ever find on the planet Earth. It is, you know, if the Amazon jungle is to um, outdoors, explorers, that's what Chinatown is to urban explorers. And in a very short time, all of these businesses will be open. Um, there will be uh, goods spilling out into these alleyways and the alleyways, they're just endless and stretch in all directions. And there'll be motorcycles trying to get through here. It's amazing to me because I'm looking at like these little um, stuffed animals here. I don't know what the market is for stuffed animals. It's just amazing to me that there's a market for them at 5.30 in the morning. Wow. Good morning. If you need a rubber chicken, there's a rubber chicken. Good morning, Svadika. It's one of those all night rubber chicken joints. So this Chinatown is actually one of the largest on the planet and one of the oldest. And obviously it was designed before automobiles. So the alleyways are very, um, very tight. There's not a lot of ability for a car to get into any of this area of the town and except on the main streets. And um, therefore, Pedestrians and motorcycles pretty much rule this, with a few exceptions. So you also get to see the monks. The monks come along and they um, basically walk the streets early in the mornings and then they do their alms offerings. So locals come out and will give them rice or crackers or um, other little pieces of food and that is what they will have to sustain themselves for the entire day. I suspect a lot of these shop owners live directly above. A little bit tight. Look at all the power lines up here. So the sun is starting to come up and it's clearly getting a whole lot busier than it was just even 20 minutes ago.
Starting to see a few kids here and there getting ready to go to school. Wow. I don't know what some of this is. And then you find these alleyways like this, where it's like just random. And you walk in and there's a beautiful temple. You know, but as fascinating as the temple is, I find structures like that to be even more fascinating. You can kind of see that if mankind steps away from anything here, it is not long before the jungle reclaims it. This really is a jungle and just like you see with um, Angkor Wat in Cambodia, if you step away from it from any amount of time, the jungle is going to totally reclaim what was once is. So this is one of the earliest Chinese temples here in Thailand, apparently according to the signage outside. Dates back to at least the early 1600s. Very different, very, very different from the Thai temples. I'm going to sit down and eat what looks to be a delicious early morning snack, a bun filled with some kind of um, pork, looks like. Really, really good. Very sticky, very doughy. And inside, you've got this pork with spices and veggies. You know, guys making them right there. Everything here just feels fresh. much? Yeah. Thank you.
Mm. If you ever remember getting one of those funnel cakes from the county fair, this is exactly what that is. And this whole bag was 10 baht, which is about 30 cents. So, not a bad way to start the day. Apparently, this woman across the street, dressed in the traditional Chinese outfit, is praying in some way because she's walking along a very busy street and she stops at times and faces a certain direction and I'm not exactly sure what it is but I spoke with another local about it and they told me that she was a particular sect and this is how they pray so kind of cool See her crossing the street now. She's very clearly walking very specific steps, very specific turns. So you can see a lot of the Vendors are fully set up now. People are coming out. They're having breakfast. They're doing a little shopping. Perhaps getting a little bite to eat and also getting the food they're going to need to prepare meals for their families when they get home. Pretty cool. You can still see the monks doing their morning alms. Okay, so I'm not a morning person. But I have to confess, you feel an incredible sense of accomplishment when you've knocked out your calls, enjoyed some breakfast, gotten a little exercise, and immersed yourself in another culture all before I'd normally pour my first cup of coffee. And so, with a satiated appetite, a spiritual sereneness, and some 10,000 steps already logged on the old digital watch, it was time to head home. But here in Bangkok, even getting home can be an adventure.